Thank you very much. Yeah, I was in Eastern Congo uh, this past uh, summer of uh, 11, and we visited a, um, a IDP camp in Goma uh, where the, uh, the IDPs were from uh, villages that were attacked by Joseph Kony. And um, at the present time, uh, is there any, and, and let me just make it very clear that I support the U.S. effort of sending U.S. troops to train the Ugandans and the Congolese. I think Kony has been around for 20 years. It is a disgrace on the terror that he has inflicted on people. He should have been taken out 20 years ago. It is 20 years too late. But I hope that we will be able to train the troops so that we can finally eliminate the scourge that has been around. The, um, do we have any assessment of where he is now? He was in the Congo at that time. Uh, maybe Ambassador, do you know if he's in the CAR or uh, out of, he's out of Uganda? Right. I, I think, um, Congressman, there are obviously information, et cetera, that we work with. Um, I think we probably should give you a, a separate briefing on, on some of the details. Mm -hmm. But suffice it to say that um, the commitment and the enhancement that our, our troops are able to bring to bear in this endeavor has been extremely positive. But also it has to be in the context of a very comprehensive approach. And one of the positive results we're seeing is the number of people who are leaving the LRA. You're talking core fighters along with some of the 800 or so people who are accompanying the LRA groups. So that's a very positive sign. And then the continuation of reconciliation and reintegration, not only in the Uganda of the Acholi community, but also in other areas, has been very positive and is helping to bring these people out. Let me ask you, um, how are uh, the current relations between uh, DRC and, and Rwanda? And are they still having joint uh, exercises together on the eastern border? Uh, they did have a, a joint operation. Uh, right now, is we continue to um, promote uh, open dialogue between the two governments. Uh, and that is one of the uh, main roles that uh, Ambassador Barry Walkley is going to do in his discussions. Uh, as you know, he went to the ICGLR meeting in Uganda uh, in December. Uh, we will continue that process and to bring really all the parties together in an open dialogue. And so it does continue, it is positive, and uh, it, it continues to progress. In regards to uh, MINUSCO, uh, have, they have a different mandate now. It is supposed to be more robust. Um, and secondly, I understand that there is a need in their operation for attack helicopters. And do you know where that stands and whether that can be provided uh, to the U.N.? Um, the, I know the, for the United Nations, the biggest, op, and we are talking about MONUSCO now. Right. And the core mandate for MONUSCO, of course, is stabilization, which is opposite from MONUC, which is much more peacekeeping. But for MONUSCO, one of the main challenges has been air assets. Uh, and we have spoken th of this in great detail with the, with the head of MONUSCO, um, uh, Roger Meese. And that is, you are absolutely correct, this is an issue that we continue to grapple with. Uh, we have gone to other countries to help support, uh, and this continues to be a challenge. I know in the previous election, the, the 06 elections, the South African uh, Armed Forces assisted in the delivery of um, of ballots and so forth. Were they uh, involved in this election also? Yes, and also the Angolans as well. Okay, very good. Just the final question. Uh, could you tell me, the, in your opinion, the difference between a special advisor that has been appointed by the President <laughs> rather than the special envoy that have served previously and that we ask to be reappointed? I think there's a, a lot of the 
differences with probably a more nuance. But um, as far as the special advisor is concerned, um, Ambassador Barry Walkley was, as any envoy or advisor, was selected uh, among a group of candidates, and he proved to be the best given his linguistic abilities, also his uh, ties to the region, uh, not only in the DRC but in other areas. And more important is uh, because he has the trust and the confidence, not only the Secretary of State, uh, Secretary Clinton, but also of uh, the Assistant Secretary, Johnny Carson, um, and also of the ambassadors in the region who uh, Ambassador Barry Walkley knows personally and uh, have worked together with, as well as with Roger Meese, the uh, head of MONUSCO. So it's been a very uh, productive and cooperative relationship. Mm -hmm. So there's no difference in the titles? But there, there are nuances. <laughs> Beg your pardon? There are nuances there. <laughs> Seems like that's a sensitive question around the Department of State. No one wants to speak out on it, huh? Well, all right, well. But I don't think you'll see any less commitment or any less uh, dedication to this endeavor. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.